Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Good times for all, or Zachary Zabali here if you prefer. In this video, this is just another uh, pre-experiment. I got a lot of great ideas from people. Thank you all very much. Um, everybody, I mean, that was... I've been thinking about what you guys gave me all day long. And I just wanted to share what I came up with. I don't know if I will have the equipment to do this, but I know some people that will. So here we go. Um, we'll have a flat line, and then we'll have our, it's going to be exaggerated, but our curved earth. Okay, no longer doing the uh, the tubes. I love the idea of having a water hose going all the way from one end all the way to the other end. Now this would be the same on either of them because in their model they have the gravity that's pulling it always towards down so that won't prove anything right there. That'll just show that our things are level. And what we're going to do We're going to have the, uh, I want two of them, really about, I'm thinking a hundred, I've been working on the math, and you're going to need them at least a hundred yards apart, these two things perfectly level, okay, you don't even need another one at this end, all you need is, whoop, sorry about that folks, all you need at this end is your camera at the right height, maybe a small one to look through, just to give your camera maybe two little small ones just to look through. Maybe even a tube here, whatever. But down here is where we're gonna line, these are gonna be perfectly flat and level. The X's should line up on this one. On this one, if they're 100 yards apart, and you're a mile away, you see what I'm getting at? This one will be a half inch lower than this one. We have our tubes here, and all that. Blah, 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 blah. Where am I at here? Okay. So at a mile away, when you're looking through here like this, the one in the back should be just a hair lower. I'm thinking making this one like bright neon yellow. And then this one black. So if it totally cuts it out and you don't see the neon yellow at all, then the earth is flat. If it is offset a little bit, and this one is down a half an inch, then the earth is curved. Now, I know surveyors can get to, at one mile, I forget how many hundredths of an inch it is, but it's pretty amazing. So, um, I'm going to get a hold of... Chris Van Matre and um, talk to him about this and see what he thinks about it but uh, thank you all so much for all of your great ideas any more ideas on this um, I'm thinking we might have problems with the water traveling that far and staying level might have to do it in sections or something um, I want to stick away from the lasers as much as possible just because of the light bending and this and that and yada 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 this it'll be no matter what you the light can bend and do all kinds of stuff but if you see these lined up from that distance 
then it's flat. If it, you know, it can be misshapen, it can be up from where it's supposed to be, it can be down from where it's supposed to be, but this one will always show, the curve of the earth will always show this right here. And this one will always show, they have to be at least, I think, 100 yards. Of, that might only be for 100, no. I forget. That might be for 100 yards. They have to be pretty far apart and lined up perfectly. Then you have to be a mile away and have the equipment to look through there and see both of those. So... That's where I'm at on it so far. I don't know if I'll be able to do this exact experiment. But, um, yeah, there should be a difference here, I believe, if I'm thinking correctly. So, uh, again, if you have any ideas or comments, um, please leave them. And uh, that's it. Good times for all here signing out. As always, thanks for watching.